The first thing to do is to remove the terminal box from the motor. It's important that this seal is also removed from the motor. Now the connecting wires are screwed onto the terminals. Here it is important to carefully fix the right coloured wires on the terminals. That is, the white wire on U1, the red wire on V1 and the black wire on W1. The two blue wires are connected to the terminal screws for the temperature sensor. Once again, white on U1, red on V1 and black on W1. The two blue wires are for the temperature sensor. All the screws on this terminal board are tightened with a specific torque. The next step is to screw the adapter unit onto the motor. It's important that the control terminal is on the opposite side to the fan cover. The connection unit is fastened with four screws. The four screws are secured with a contact washer. It is important that the contact washer is fitted the right way round, that is, with the nail facing the screw head. These screws are also tightened with a specific torque. Next, the motor cover is inserted. The motor connection lead is pushed through the hole which is provided. As you can see here, the connecting wires for the temperature sensor are passed under this plate. The motor cover is fastened with three screws. Now we connect the temperature sensor. Both connections are fastened to terminals 39 and 38. The next thing is to screw in the power terminal. Now the motor is connected via the connecting lead. White to U, the red wire to V. And the black wire is connected to W. Finally, the frequency inverter is mounted on the adapter unit. Note that the frequency inverter is pushed onto the two earth connection guide pins. These screws are also tightened with a specific torque. 